Woodstock Fruit Festival, we'll see you there, August 20th, 28th, 2012. This is some good dates been getting in Australia. It's uh, datesaustralia.com.au. Datesaustralia.com.au, they've got some dates in. I think they might have sold out already. The season normally sells out in a week or two. Uh, the good dates anyway, so datesaustralia.com, check them out. Nice and fructosey, glucosey. While we're on the subject of fat, fructosey, sugary things, Someone asked me, Harley, can you please do a, a response video sharing your comments and criticisms, sharing your opinions on Robert Lustig, The Bitter Truth, Sugar, The Bit of Truth. It's a very popular YouTube video. I dug up a recent interview with Robert Lustig on 60 Minutes. Now, I've got nothing personal against Robert Lustig. I'm just, I disagree strongly with what he says. Now, listen to this carefully and see if you can spot the errors in Robert Lustig's statement. See if you can spot the mistakes. Now, Robert Lustig is an endocrinologist in California. So this guy's not just off the street. He's academically qualified. Now, he pick the basic mistakes he makes. Listen carefully. Fruits, coconut, olive, avocado, have no carbohydrate. There is no food stuff on this planet that has both fat and carbohydrate at the same time. It's one or the other, because that's evolution, that's nature, that's what God did. So they just spot Robert Lustig's mistake. Now this guy's, remember, he's, he look at him, he's sitting behind all these books, he's academic, he's in a business suit, an Armani suit, a $5,000 suit, possibly he's a, a, you know, established academic, but he calls a coconut a fruit. Now we can, we'll let him slide on that one, because a coconut's a nut, but he called a coconut a fruit, but that doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. But then he says, Coconut, avocado, and olive contain no carbohydrates. Coconut, olive, avocado have no carbohydrate. But if we go to USDA database, we find out that avocado has more carbohydrate than watermelon. We find out that coconut has around 20% of its calories coming from carbohydrate. We find out that olive has around 10% of its calories coming from carbohydrate. But Robert Lustig just said, Coconut, olive, avocado have no carbohydrate. So how could he make such a basic mistake? How could he do that? How could he be so confused or confusing? I don't know. How does that work? And now this statement he says, There is no food stuff on this planet that has both fat and carbohydrate at the same time. It's one or the other because that's evolution. That's nature. That's what God did. No food in nature contains carbohydrate and fat together. Well, Robert Lustig's right, except for lettuce, bananas, potatoes, peaches, mangoes, durians, dates, dates, yams, rice, millet, quinoa, aramanth, kale, broccoli, macadamia nuts, almond nuts. Oh, every single plant food in nature, every single one without exception, every whole plant food in nature contains both fat and carbohydrate together. Now, people go, why are you getting so intense about this, Harley? <laughs> well, the reality is, you've got these endocrinologist qualified gurus out there talking absolute nonsense. Like, how the fuck did they get a PhD or a doctor in anything when they can't even click onto Google and go carbohydrate content in avocado? How can someone claim to be a nutritional authority when they don't even know that 100 grams of avocado has more carbohydrate than 100 grams of watermelon? How can that be? How can someone say that avocado has no carbohydrate? Coconut has no carbohydrate. Olive has no carbohydrate. How can someone say that carbohydrate and fat are never found in nature? That God and evolution didn't design that way? I mean, using God and evolution in the same sentence? I don't know about that one. How can Robert Lustig make such a simple mistake? How can that be? Now, I've got nothing personal against Robert Lustig, but I can't help notice he's a bit, he's a bit, he's a bit overweight. But he's claiming to be a weight loss authority. He's claiming that fruit is making America obese because of the fructose content in fruit. Now, Robert Lusty claims that fructose makes us fat. We're obese from fructose. So don't eat fruit. If you're gonna have a fruit, just a little portion. So I just have to disagree there. After 11 years on this high carbohydrate, low fat vegan thing, smashing down the fruit, I have to disagree with Robert Lusty. Respectfully disagree. Now look at these people. Doug Graham, he's probably eating more fruit than anyone on the planet. Where is Doug Graham's obesity? Where are any of the raw food of obesities? Look at this guy, Chris Randall, he's dropped a lot of weight on the high fructose fruit diet. We've got Victoria Everett here, 
Again, crazy banana lady we call her. Again, people losing a lot of weight on the high fructose. And then we have Freely. You know, everyone knows about Freely from flab to fab. But why are people getting fat? People think they're getting fat from bananas, but they're eating fucking donuts, man. A jam donut is at least 50% of its calories coming from fat. A banana is about 3% of its calories coming from fat. 2 or 3%. Calories from fat, 2 or 3%. Versus 50% or chocolate, which is like 60%, 40%. You know what I mean? If you keep your diet in the single digit fat, that's, the, that's where it's at. So again, Robert Lustig, man, I don't know. I don't know how these people, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what their trip is, man. I don't know what their deal is. I don't know how they make these statements and just a blogger, a YouTuber like myself can just go, well, actually, look at that mistake. I don't know how that works. I don't know how overweight people can become weight loss authorities on, on fructose and fruit when they like what's going on how does that work and just because someone is fat doesn't make them bad person I'm just saying so thanks for watching don't forget to like share subscribe this video if you want to see more post your comments and questions down below the question of the day is why is Drew Rider so fucking ripped why is Drew Rider got 2% body fat after 11 years in this lifestyle why do all the people who eat high carbohydrate low fat diets traditionally like in Thailand and Kenya why do all these people they live in these rural country areas and live on rice or fruits and vegetables, low fat, high carb, why they always lean regardless of their fitness levels. Uh, post your comments and questions down below. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Fruits, coconut, olive, avocado have no carbohydrate. There is no food stuff on this planet that has both fat and carbohydrate at the same time. It's one or the other, because that's evolution, that's nature, that's what God did. Oh, hello, um, I just want to say that you shouldn't eat fruit, because fruit makes you fat. Okay, bye.